I would love to speak with you today about the Cornwall Art Hive. The Cornwall Art Hive is a project we started almost two years and a half ago and the main intention was to provide and offer art for the community. I felt, especially with the pandemic, that it was a need for people to get together, not only to eat food, it's also important to mix activities that is good for the soul, right? So I took some art from um, supplies that my kids they don't really need because they, everybody was not going to school at the moment and we, I went out in front of my house and I started creating art and then people start joining and with the rules of the two meters and all that and the mask we still managed to make more art and I believe after um, maybe a month or two we start having more followers and people start asking about the Cornwall Art Hive and uh, they start enjoying it. It becomes something that uh, people really want to do more and that's open for everyone. So it's not only for artists, it's for everyone in the community. Moms, kids, grandmothers, everybody's welcome. And you don't have to have any experience to practice art. With time, we get the support of um, 125 Bit Street Studio and we're so grateful for that. And then we took more support from uh, the Yak and I will let uh, my friend Richard talk more about this uh, support and the, the Yak itself. And I think after this, it just become a community invitation that everybody actually can drop art material. Uh, they give us um, free art material to give it back to the community. So this was the magic of how can we actually create art in the community with free uh, sessions for everyone. We have been in the mall, in the library, in the park, and with us growing and the intention of getting the whole community, no one left behind, right? So we started as well working with newcomers organizations and we're blessed. Three months ago, we have applied for a grant and we got it. We got a fund that will support us to work more with our young people. So we're doing this now and we're just, uh, we, can't, we can't stop. Creating art is healing, it's magical, is getting us together. I'm Richard Salem. I am the Executive Director of Your Arts Council, Cornwall and the Counties. We are the governing organization that umbrellas many other organizations, including Cornwall Art Hive. Yaffa approached me towards uh, the end of 2021. She was looking for an organization that could help her to uh, acquire funding for the Cornwall Art Hive. Your Arts Council has a program of standing committees that allow us to umbrella and uh, provide insurance and accounting services and all sorts of other things for groups like Cornwall Art Hive. Yaffa was providing the energy and the personality. Uh, I was providing the pretty face. So it was a good partnership and uh, we've expanded it significantly. Yak has invested significantly in uh, Cornwall Art Hive. We've secured funding from the Social Development Council to expand our programming as it applies to youth in Cornwall. We've had a number of partnerships with uh, the Cornwall Square. We have uh, a public art session every fourth Saturday of the month uh, until the weather's nice enough and we move everything into Lamaru Park. We have a partnership with the Cornwall Public Library uh, every second Saturday of the month. Um, we have developed relationships with the Agape Center, with the Newcomer Center, with the Dev Center, with the Boys and Girls Club, uh, with the Native North American Traveling College. Um, I know I'm missing somebody. And we hold events uh, with those groups, for those groups. Some of them are public, some of them are not. Uh, we are holding public facing art events. So I prefer the events in Labyrinth Park, uh, in the mall, where people walking by can literally come sit down and together as a group do art. That's, uh, I think, the primary impetus behind the Cornwall Art Hive. We are promoting inclusiveness. We are promoting diversity. We are promoting acceptance. Hi there, I'm Neil Carrier. I am the president of the Your Arts Council here in Cornwall. And I'm one of the people who is a very avid supporter of Yaffa and the Art Hive. 
Uh, Yaffa did mention about the people who would come to her front yard. I am one of those people. That's how she and I met. And of course, we became very, very good friends, very fast friends. Um, and uh, yes, it was something that fed our souls. It was an opportunity to get together during the pandemic, create art outside where we could still keep make, keep distance and we could still practice safety procedures. Uh, but it's continued. And I one of the things I really love about Art Hive is uh, it's kind of an informal gathering. They do have activities, they do set things up for you, but you don't need to participate in those activities. You can just show up and do some art. They have all kinds of different supplies. Everybody is encouraged. Uh, it doesn't matter what your level of art skills is. Anyone is allowed to come. And so I think this is a great thing for our community. One of my favorite things that the uh, Art Hive did was this summer, uh, Yaffa secured two, uh, two walls that she put in the park. Um, and we allowed kids to put graffiti on these walls and paint them and, and do whatever they wanted with them. And I thought that was a really great idea. This is an opportunity for, for people in the community to, uh, to, to do something creative and they're not damaging public property or they're not um, causing any issues. So I thought this was a great thing and I, I think the Art Hive is an excellent thing for our community. We are promoting pride in Cornwall. We're doing that all through these Art for All sessions. Neil mentioned, uh, Neil Carrier mentioned that the city, uh, as one of our partners, has provided us with a number of outdoor walls on which to do street art. Um, the Social Development Council is providing us funding so that we can create street art workshops and uh, in Lamaru Park during the summer. The Cornwall Art Hive is a standing committee of your Arts Council, but the Art Hives in general are under the umbrella of an international organization called the International Art Hives, who have also embraced us uh, and feature us quite prominently in their promotion of Art Hives. So Cornwall and its Art Hive is literally going around the world uh, and uh, we're very proud of it. Hi, my name is Pierre Dufour. I'm the Marketing and Programming Manager here at the Cornwall Public Library. I've been here for over 21 years and I've been involved in programming uh, for most of my career here. Uh, we have a wonderful library where we have wonderful programs. Part of those programs is art literacy programs. And we are fortunate to have Yava's arts uh, class here every month, practically every month of the year. And it's been highly successful. Lots of energy coming from Yafa and her participants. We're really, really happy to, to have that program here with us. So it's all encompassing. We, I mean, by that, I mean, we have every people from all walks of life that are coming to this program. And it's, you don't have to be an artist to, to come to this. You will learn to become an artist and you'll, you'll at least develop that artistic side of yourself. And uh, with, we have our own library programs where we have arts and crafts. Uh, this is a beautiful addition to, to what we already do and as I mentioned to have it as a community a partnership with, uh, with Yafa and, and her group. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, initiative that we have with her. My name is Kathleen Ebarek. I'm the Executive Director of the Social Development Council for Cornwall and Area. Really excited to hear about the celebration taking place on March 30th, where uh, your Arts Council uh, will be celebrating all the great work that has happened with the Art Hive over the, the great months in 2023, where they've been able to use some of the Building Safer Community um, micro-grant funds to really uh, work with youth of uh, all demographics. And so at this really lovely celebration, they will be inviting those youth back, the newcomers that they've had the opportunity to work with, uh, and dignitaries like the, the mayor and council uh, so that they can see the really wonderful work that has happened through, uh, through this grant. Why I think the Art Hive application to the Building Safer Community micro grant really fit with the criteria is uh, the opportunity to provide um, uh, expression of art in every way, shape or form to folks who maybe wouldn't otherwise use it. And so I find sometimes, you know, art can be, I think I've maybe said this before, really cheap therapy. Um, and so when uh, 
a young person maybe wants to express themselves and may not be in a in a household or um, in a in a situation where they can, your art hive can provide those really unique uh, opportunities for for learning, for growth, for self discovery, uh, opportunity to build community with other youth, with artists, um, and really discover you know who they are and hopefully um, lead them into a, a life away from what we've been seeing with a lot of youth is a life away from crime. Hi, my name is Kat Rendick. I'm project coordinator with the City of Cornwall and I work in planning, development and recreation. As one of my projects to support community vibrancy, arts and recreation, I've worked with the Cornwall Art Hive on a number of different projects. I think the most exciting and kind of innovative one that we did was to create uh, movable walls within one of our major parks in the city, uh, Lamru Park. And that was really that came out of a, an idea to um, have a graffiti type wall or a community engagement wall where anyone in the community could come, participate, but um, we weren't sort of fixing a certain wall. It was sort of itself very mobile. It could be envisioned in lots of different spaces and that kind of embodied the spirit of Cornell Art Hive uh, that, that we sort of saw in that partnership. And uh, we've you know, supported only in making the walls and supplying some of the, the different painting supplies. Um, I know the spray paint was very popular with kids, uh, but really just also celebrating and engaging, promoting youth and really anyone in the community to visit the Cornell Archive activities and participate throughout the summer. We've been really excited to see all that Archive has offered to our community and we look forward to continuing that partnership in the future.